Hi and welcome to the Gollyplot channel. In today's video, I will go over all of the Slavic languages that use the Cyrillic script, their own unique letters and pronunciation and general variation. So I'll go over the alphabets of Belarusian, Bulgarian, Macedonian, Serbian, Russian, and Ukrainian. If you need to check out the alphabet of a specific language, check out the chapters below. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So let's start off the presentation with the letters that are written and pronounced the same way in all the Slavic languages that use the Cyrillic script. So starting from A and going down, so A as in America, B as in bus, V as in view, D as in delta, like in Greek, uh, you'll notice that a lot of the letters are borrowed straight up from Greek and Latin scripts, uh, and more than half are the same for all Slavic languages. Uh, after D, delta is J, as in seizure, j, z as in zoo, k as in koala, l as in love, l, m, m as in moon, n, n as in noon, p, p as in pear, r, r as in run, rolled r, run, s, S as in salt, T, T as in tough, U as in through, F as in fit or phi, the Greek letter, H as in hot, Ts as in that's, so the TS combination, Ts, Ch as in cheese, so CH combination. Let's focus on the Belarusian script first. So starting from A and going down, A as in America, B as in bus, V as in view, G as in guy, D as in delta. The E here is pronounced as a Y, so Y as in yes. The e with the the e with the two dots is pronounced as yo, so as in Toyota, yo. J as in seizure, z as in zoo. The i here is a short e as in b, so e. The Slavic e with the accent on top or e karotke e shortened here. Is pronounced as a Y as in English, so as an away, stay away, ka as in koala, L as in love, M as in moon, N as in noon, O as in thought, O, P as in pear, R as in run, but rolled, so run, S as in sun or salt, T as in tough, U as in through, so U. Uh, the U with an accent on top is uh, like W in English, so it's a W sound, so as in water, W. F as in fit, H as in hot, T as in that's. Ch as in cheese, so the CH combination, cheese, ch, sh as in wash, so the SH combination, sh, e as in build, il, il, or close to that, uh, e sound, um, next up is the soft sign, so used to soften a consonant, uh, the backwards euro sign uh, is uh, pronounced e in Belarusian, so e as in met, e. Uh, we have you and yeah. Next up, we have the Bulgarian script. So starting from A and going down, A as in America, B as in bus, V as in view, 
G as in guy, D as in delta, E as in met or bet, E, J as in seizure, Z as in zoo, E as in B, so a short E, uh, E shortened or E karotke, the E with the accent on top is pronounced as a Y, so as in way uh, or away. Ka as in koala. L as in love. M as in moon. N as in noon. O as in thought. O thought. P as in pair. Or the Greek letter pi, pi, pair, p. R as in run, but rolled, so run, r. S as in sun. T as in tough, t. U as in through, u. F as in fit, or phi uh, in the Greek script. H as in hot. C as in that. Ch as in cheese or ch combination cheese in english sh as in wash or the sh combination sh uh, the sh with a tail at the end in bulgarian is pronounced sh so as in pushed sh uh, the hard sign in bulgarian is actually a vowel uh, it's called big r or ergolam and it's pronounced as a e uh sound as in bird in english like the i in bird, uh. uh. Next up, we have the soft sign used to uh, soften a, a consonant in Bulgarian as well. We call it er malak or small r. And we have u as in you and ya as in ma. Ya. Next, let's take a look at the Macedonian script. So, starting from a and going down, we have a as in America, b as in bus. V as in view, G as in guy, D as in delta, and we have here a soft gamma letter. So G, imagine a G uh, uh, with a soft sign afterwards, so pronounced G. So G, soft G, the, the gamma with an accent on top. Uh, next up we have the E a letter, which is pronounced E as in Bulgarian, so E as in met, J as in seizure, J seizure, Z as in zoo. Uh, and here we have a particularity of the Macedonian script. They do have the S letter borrowed from Latin, which is pronounced as a Z sound. So the Z sound as in kamikaze. So the S in Macedonian is a Z sound. Uh, again, E as in C or B, a short E. The J is pronounced as a Y as in English, so yes or way. Uh, the K as in koala. L as in love. And here we have a soft L, so the same case as the gamma letter, however, it's conjoined with uh, the soft sign in this case, and instead of pronounced being pronounced as a l, it's pronounced as a l, so a soft l, l, l. M as in moon, N as in noon, N, soft n, so n, the same as the l, n, O as in thought, P as in pair. R or R as in run but rolled, so run, R. S as in sun. T as in tough. And here the same case as the soft G, so K, soft K, K. As if you add this uh, soft sign after the, the consonant, so K. Next up we have U as in through. F as in fit. F, H, H as in hot, hot, H, T as in that, so the T, S combination sound, T, Ch as in 
cheese, the CH combination sound in English. Uh, and this uh, letter is borrowed from Serbian and it's pronounced as a J as in badge. J. And SH as in wash, the SH combination. Next up, we have the Russian script. So again, starting from A and going down, we have A as in America, B as in bus, V as in view, G as in gamma or guy, G, D as in delta, D, Y as in yes. So the E here is pronounced as a Y. The yeah, with two dots uh, or umlaut is pronounced as a yo, as in York. J as in seizure, j. Z as in z in zoo. E as in e, a short e sound. I karotka is shortened the same as a y in English, so uh, as in way. K, k as in koala. L. L as in love, M, M as in moon, N as in noon, O as in thought, O. However, if the stress in a word is not on the O, the O is pronounced as an A. For example, in the word harasho, it is written with three O's, but only the last O is pronounced as an O. Since, since it is the only O that has a stress on it. So it's written Horosho, but pronounced Harasho. And the same when you write Russia in Russian, the stress is not on the O, so it's pronounced as a A. So it's written Rosia, but it's pronounced Rasia, since the stress is on the E, Rasia. Uh, in the third column, we have Pe as in Pi or Pear, Er. As in a run but rolled, so r, r, s as in sun, t as in tough, u as in through, u, f as in phi or f sound as in fit, uh, the x is uh, uh, like h in hot, so a h sound, hot, t as in puts, the ts sound combination in English, t. Ch as in cheese, ch combination. Uh, the next two letters are pronounced in the same way. However, if you listen closely, the sound is generated on the first one in the front teeth and the second one in the back teeth. So the first one is pronounced as a sh, sh. If you can hear that the 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 air is passing through the front teeth, sh. And the other one, the sh with a tail at the end, is pronounced sh, with the air passing in the back, sh. So sh, 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 sh. It was a, a bit tricky to get it down, but uh, that's how it's pronounced. Uh, after those, we have the heart sign. After that, we have ui, as in build ui. Or close to that, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. U. Next up, we have the soft sign to soften a consonant. The backwards euro sign is pronounced E in Russian as in met. And then we have U as in you and Ya as in ma. Ya. Next up, we have the Serbian script. So again, starting from A and going down. A as in America. B as in bus. V as in view, G as in guy, D as in delta, and here we have a unique for the Serbian script letter. Uh, it's a soft J sound, so pronounced J as in Gio Giovanni, like J, uh, J, so a soft J. Uh, the E here is pronounced as an E, so as in met, J as in seizure. Z as in zoo, E, a short E as in B, uh, the J letter is pronounced as a Y as in York, way, 
K, K as in koala, L, L as in love, a soft L, so L, uh, as if you put uh, a soft sign after the consonant L, and they're conjoined together and pronounced as a soft L, so instead of L, it's a L. Uh, M as in moon, N as in noon. Same thing here for the soft N, it's pronounced ny instead of n, ny. O as in thought, P as in pair, R as in run, but road, so run, the road R, R. Third column we have S as in sun, T as in tough. Another unique letter for the Serbian script, it's a soft ch sound so instead of ch we have ch so it's a soft ch sound u as in through u f as in fit or in greek phi h as in hot the h uh, letter is pronounced as a h hot the x c as in puts the ts combination sound ch as in cheese CH combination sound in English. Uh, J as in badge. J. The fork uh, looking letter J. And SH as in SH as in wash. SH. And now we move on to the Ukrainian script again, starting from A and going down. We have A as in America. B as in bus. V as in view. The uh, gamma letter here is pronounced as a H, so H as in hat. The gamma letter with a little tick on top is pronounced as a G, as in guy. So without the tick on top, it's a H. And with the thick tick on top, it's pronounced as a G, as in gamma, G. Next we have D as in delta. Uh, e as in met, so the E letter here is also pronounced E as in met. The forward euro sign here is pronounced as a Y, so Y as in yes. Uh, second column we have Je as in seizure, Z as in zoo, Z. Uh, the Slavic E here is pronounced as the soft sign with the tick in Russian, so the e sound close to how it's how build is pronounced, e, e sound. Let me know if I'm saying it right. E. Uh, the i letter in Ukrainian is pronounced as the short e, so e as in b. The i with the double dots is pronounced as a ye, so a longer e as in yeet, ye. E shorten e karotke is the same, uh, used as a Y as in English, so to soften a vowel, so it would be pronounced as in way, stay, yo, uh, ka, k as in koala, L as in love, or lambda in Greek, M as in moon, N, N as in noon, O as in thought, O. P as in pay or pi, R as in a run, rolled R, R, S as in sun, S, T, T as in tough, U as in through, U, F as in fit, or the Greek letter phi, F, uh, H as in hot, the H, hot, T as in puts, the TS combination sound, T. Ch as in cheese, so CH combination in English, CH, cheese, Ch. Wash, uh, SH pronounced, SH as in wash. The SH with a tail here is also pronounced, SH. So SH, SH. And uh, next up we have the soft sign. Uh, used to soften a consonant, U as in U, and Ya as in Ma, Ya.
Thanks a lot for watching this video. I really do hope it was helpful for you on your journey to learn a little bit more about Slavic languages. If you found it helpful, drop me a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.